Now, a lawyer, Santoma Joel, now joins me to share his uh, perspective on this. Uh, Santoma, it's good to have you join me right now. Now, the Habeas Couples Act uh, stated that, uh, or prescribes that no one should be jailed or held uh, for more than 48 hours without being uh, uh, either charged to court as the case may be. If you check this case, uh, Omoye Lesho, uh, he was um, arrested on Saturday and it, it was more than 48 hours before the issue of application to court came. Does he have the right to sue for uh, the violation of his right based on that? Yes, um, so many people had already said um, he should actually appeal that decision um, given by the High Court. But you see, um, what the, the, the judge actually did with regards to Shoare show is actually a bad day for our democracy. Um, consistently, the, the government has actually um, demonstrated um, blatant disregard for our constitution, and um, this Shoare's own wouldn't be an exception. How can you make us understand how has the court violated uh, the standards like you put it? Well, basically, he, he was detained uh, more than 48 hours before this order, this expertise order was obtained. And um, that shouldn't have been the case, but so many other people have been detained more than the required um, period of time by this current administration, um, and nothing has been done. So now what we are concentrating, what people should be looking at now is whether or not um, the 48-day um, detention order, which was granted at the High Court, should actually stand. And um, I believe the shorter has a case if he decides to appeal against that decision. But if you look at it, the, the judge actually made a, um, a provision that should the DSS decide to extend the time after 48, 45 days, um, they, they, they are liberty to make that application. So. Um, the issue of um, being detained more than 48 hours um, has actually gone missing. Nobody is discussing that anymore. What we are discussing now is the 48, 45 day. All right. Uh, from, the, uh, from the eyes or perspective of the law, what scenarios can play out now going forward? Well, um, are you ask, if you're asking for the real scenario, the, the truth of the matter is that the convener shouldn't have been detained. At the first instance, he shouldn't have been detained. He was detained in a, you know, by an order granted in Esparte. He wasn't even given the opportunity to state to the court the reasons why he shouldn't be detained. There wasn't any urgency in this um, order that was made. There wasn't any urgency. He wasn't even intended to overthrow the government. He has not acquired any ammunition to say or arms to say that his intentions were to overthrow the government. So that urgency to even obtain the expertise order was wrong. And I believe that um, the judge may have discharged his discretion wrongly and did not even consider the provisions of section 39 to 43 of the criminal code and also section 410 of the penal code. He did not consider it in holistic terms. So I believe his discretion was discharged wrongly. All right, uh, the Ni Nigerians are asking the question. The, the word revolution has one definition, except you want to deduce uh, uh, meanings from it. But if, seeing from the eyes of the law, uh, some have said that uh, he, has, uh, he has a case to answer when it comes to felony and, and treason, as the case may be. Well, what's your take on this? Well, many believe that the word revolution was selectively considered in literary terms. Whilst in the past, many people had used that word revolution, including our current president and the people around him. They had used the word revolution, and it wasn't; it was just considered as a figure of speech. So, how is he? How can it be possible that this word revolution has been selectively considered in literary terms to mean that he wants to talk with the government? There are precedents as to people who had used it before, and they did say it was revolution about against economic wrong, bad economic situation of the country or bad leadership. How come, on this particular occasion, this word revolution was used or was considered to be in line with um, trying to topple the government or felony or terrorism? I, I, I think it was just um, selectively um, planned out, and it, it shouldn't have been the same. This, is, this was a revolution against the bad economic situation of the country, against the bad leadership of the country, against the things that the executive arm of government has been doing 
which is not in line with our constitution. It wasn't intended to overthrow anybody. It wasn't intended for insurrection. For for insurrection. So it wasn't intended any way whatsoever to put arms up. These were people that only had plate hats and were All chanting right. chants of progressive. Um, process in the country. Okay, we have to leave you here now. Thank you very much, Santoma Joel, for talking to us on TVC.